I, I can't say that I knew an, an enormous amount about the Williams story before taking this on. And then um, I actually read a book uh, that was written by Ginny Williams, um, who was Frank's wife, who sadly passed away uh, about three years ago. And I thought it was an extraordinary account of a family um, who have gone through so much um, and have, have persevered and overcome adversity and are still there fighting. And I was, in, I was instantly drawn to it. So um, I, I wanted to tell both the past tense story of, of Williams through the history and also the present tense story uh, through Claire and Frank and their efforts to keep going in, in Formula One. Well, it's about family. Um, it's about love, uh, a love story, Frank's love for racing and uh, his wife, Ginny's love for Frank. Um, and I think an extraordinary story uh, that has, um, has been going on in Formula One for more than 40 years. I mean, 48 years Frank has been in racing and that's, that's unparalleled and he's still there and he's still going. And he, obviously he had his... He had the accident um, where he was paralyzed in 1986, but he was almost, uh, he just carried on regardless of that. And I think for me, that's been an incredible inspiration. I find, I find Frank a very inspiring character. Well, it's very difficult because there's a whole host of, of stars, past and present, uh, who have driven for Williams. And to try and include all of them in one film, it just wouldn't work. Um, but I think for me, the fact that Nigel Mansell and Nelson Piquet were driving for Williams in 1986, um, and there was that extraordinary rivalry on track between them in 1986 and 1987, but that was also the year that Frank crashed, um, had the crash which uh, paralyzed him when he was driving a hire car in the south of France. And Nigel Mansell and Nelson Piquet were two of the very first people on the scene, and so they were, they were witness to to that and party to that and very much involved with that and that for me was extraordinary that the two drivers the two star drivers who were driving for Williams were with Frank and his family at that time so their contribution was uh, very powerful and important to me. I think for me it was just important that it was honest and authentic and the Williams family shared that aspiration and we haven't had any um, We've shown the film to the Williams family, obviously Frank's seen the film. I'm quite surprised that Frank was interested to see the film, but he did watch it. Um, and we haven't had any requests for any changes, but I hope that the story is handled uh, with respect, um, but also truthfully, and it's unflinching, and it deals with some of the difficult issues and challenges that that family have had to face both on and off the track. For particularly Formula One fans who are already very familiar with some of this history, do you think there's anything that's going to be particularly surprising for them or possibly going to change their perspective on some familiar events? Well, absolutely, because, you know, this isn't just a racing story. And um, the elements of it which are part of racing history, I still think that there's a fresh perspective to be learned um, by watching the film. And the interviews for me are some of the most candid that I've done. And sometimes we were talking to people for five, six, up to seven hours, you know, for an interview. And I think much of these people, or many of these people, um, are perhaps used to a shorter interview time. And I think we were able to go into more depth, and I hope that that's reflected in the film. Obviously, there are huge challenges in dramatizing Formula One and, and huge budgets. Uh, and, I, you know, trying to think of the amount of times that it's been done, but obviously Rush and also Grand Prix. And, um, you know, back in 69 or... Uh, whatever that was. So, you know, um, for me, the, the attraction of doing this story is that it's true and it's real and the people who are telling that story, it's their first-hand experience. Um, and however much, however big your budget and um, however extraordinary your cast of actors, it's very difficult to capture that truth and that truthful experience. And for me, I hope the documentary uh, achieves that.